So this is a Düsseldorf Hauptbahnhof, yeah? I was basically told I was homeless by the German state between April to July when there was 4,000 euros in my Sparkasa account. Why was that? To make me totally exhausted so they could steal all the information from SAP, Sky, Commerce Bank and AOK and all the political documents that have fuck all to do with me but I'm now being terrorized by Scottish rednecks all over Germany and rednecks here sending police after me all over the place, yeah? I had to sleep on the floor, I had to sleep with refugees when I had 4,000, every time I went to the Sparkasa account said zero absolute rednecks all over the place because uh, the police have said, yeah, you can do fucking anything you want to them I'm getting attacked by every single nation under the sun this is the Sparkasa that I came to a couple of uh, refugees took me in one night, but there's only one way in, yeah? Camera, 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 camera. One way in. These are the staff members right here. Yeah, I came in here. I hadn't slept in about five weeks. I knew I had a hundred USBs of evidence. Um, with my innocence, I sat at this chair. This door has got to be locked. Right? You can't open that unless it's a staff member. So the staff was a, the theft was a complete inside job. Yeah, look how busy this place is. Can only be done by a professional. These are the people over here who basically told you, yeah, see, they won't look now. They basically won't look, won't look, won't look. Inside job, it's only camera. That woman over there told me to fuck off and basically didn't call the police. Then I came outside. Yeah. Then what do you have? Embassy after consulate after embassy. So that door over there, yeah, when I had a Sparkasa card, it's all timed to the minute to terrorize as much as possible in order to have me killed. So the Scottish referendum doesn't come out that it was fake. And this whole refugee crisis in Germany, this is the door right here. You cannot, you, it's a fire exit. You cannot get in there, right? So this person obviously came out here. This camera's over there cameras over there if you come over this way yeah another camera right on the actual fucking door of where someone stole it yeah you come out this way everybody knows what's going on yeah duck your head so you're not on camera these two nations stole my life in fucking Canada and are now terrorizing me to death can't get job center there's another camera look how many cameras are everywhere another camera the police I basically stole my yeah everybody knows I'll duck your head now stole my information so I would have to go to the acne where this guy would then fucking terrorize me steal all my information give all the information back to the uh, and the police are right here yeah they stand outside the embassy it's unfucking believable Unbelievable. So I'm just like walking around here. Yeah. And you have the consulate. So then we come back over here. Yeah. And the other thing is, is when I was brought to Dusseldorf, oh my god, you're Snowden, you're this, you're that. Told to come over here by Mirbush, which I showed you a picture of. Yeah. This is Dusseldorf. I did everything and no crimes to my name. Germany and that shithole Schottland is fucking constructed one of the most evil, twisted attacks on a human being, possibly in human history, all coordinated by the police, yeah? I can't get access to any European money that is legal. I've been in here numerous times. I've been in here. Volkschule has denied me stat. I just want to show you one place. Yeah, the whole thing was a fucking setup from start to finish, minute by minute, timed to terrorize one person as much as possible. So calls from the Dusseldorf police, the Hanover police, all set me up to go to Diakini, which is run by the German church. And they steal my fucking prescriptions, steal my money, empty my bank account, whole thing up set to terrorize. So I go have to go back and do this thing all over again. Four terabyte of evidence of me being terrorized all over the Western world, stolen by the German police. 
yeah? So I come over here, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be told, yeah? Bearing in mind we're next to all these embassies and everything, yeah? And they lie their fucking ass off. Couldn't give a shit if, um, and told to come here, yeah? Told to come here. So I've done absolutely nothing to no one. I'm sat in Bank of Montreal while they're constructing this fucking death wish in 2013, faking everything while Germany is preparing to do a five year lie of this refugee shit. All the refugees are still in tin cans. Fucking buildings going up all over the place. You have Mirbusch, Potsdam, Munich, Freiburg, all known exactly what's going on. Uh, Felicia Sisgal fucking drugs me in Toronto. They did this to me in my 19s. I fled that shithole, went to England. I was actually doing quite well in England. Then all these death threats. So I have to go to Canada. It is constant rednecks and it's bizarre that these feminazis keep telling me that the KKK and the Nazis are on the rise. Why the fuck would they tell me that? This is one of the most biggest witch hunts of one fucking person in the whole world. Everybody knows what's going on. Lawyers, doctors, nurses, hospitals, all fucking lying. So what kind of exactly world do we live in? Who can you trust if they're all doing this? Every single person. I told one person in a Cologne hostel what happened about what happened in Starbucks. Said blatant inside job. Germany and that fucking shithole is killing people in order to cover up one of the worst political lies in history.